Yo, what's up? It's the overdue update. Unscripted, loads of jump cuts, let's go. <laughs> this channel has been dead. <laughs> Uploading to YouTube is probably my favorite thing. Pretty much the main reason why I'm still alive. And that's not because of finances, and I'll let you put the puzzle pieces together there. I, I'm not going anywhere, but there have been a few things that have kind of like been killing my motivation recently. First of all, I have depression. Um, I've been pretty open about this my whole, like, career. In 2018, it hit probably the worst. I had a massive existential crisis. Uh, poor Nathaniel Bandy had to endure me mass sending him freak freaking out te t text at 4am one night, and since then, um, although the existential stuff is thankfully a lot less rough on my brain, I never really recovered from the mental state. I have antidepressants, which I haven't taken today, actually. But, wait. Shit, I'm out. No! That also means I, I can't stick to a schedule, and I never have been able to stick to a schedule because I lose my mind very frequently. Sometimes it's major, sometimes it's just kind of minor, but I just can't concentrate on anything. My brain is just kind of... I also have pretty bad anxiety, and I struggle with big hordes of people. I can deal with the big streams, you know, sometimes I stream to 100 viewers, sometimes I stream to 2,000 viewers, it depends on what I'm doing and how consistent I am. The thing that probably makes it the hardest is the fact that I'm transgender, I'm a trans woman. The chat constantly debates that all the time, my entire existence is just a massive debate and that's just, that's just part of it. Uh, that's, what I, that's what I get for coming out. I knew it was gonna happen, I should have waited until I was more stable. I didn't. Individual transphobic comments, like, don't bother me at all. I almost find them funny. Like, sometimes they're kind of sad, but I love the really confident ones that, like, clearly haven't done any research into what they're talking about. Especially the ones who, like, word for word, right, like, Ben Shapiro fact over feeling stuff when they haven't researched any facts. <laughs> for 250,000 subscribers, I promised I'd show all of my quag sires. These little guys, I discovered them in, like, early 2020. They have been making my life so much better. They're so happy. They're so pure. One day I want to be as happy as this Quagsire. One thing that's been kind of difficult for me on YouTube is that like, you'll notice if you go back through my channel history, I change my content constantly. And that's not good for YouTube. That's why I, I just go through these periods where I don't gain subs and then I have this giant spike. I've done Mario Galaxy 2 challenge content. I've done scripted challenge content. I've done like Panacoic style A press research, no commentary videos. My interests switch very rapidly. The only thing that I really have a consistent interest in is probably Mario Kart, but and just modding in general. But Mario Kart performs very badly on this channel, so I tend to take my Mario Kart stuff uh, to other mediums. 3D world modding, I'm still very much into, but editing, I've gotten so burnt out. I just can't edit. Like every time I open Vegas, it's just. <laughs> I've had to hire editors recently, and it's cool, but you know, it's still like, sometimes I don't even have the motivation to upload the footage to Google Drive, like, come on, that's just depressing. Also, anything I do, people just do it better, and like, that's the nature of uh, YouTube. It's all about the marketing, and I've never really been good at the marketing. Uh, it's a miracle that I am where I am right now without knowing anything about marketing, you know? Uh, I've been doing challenge vid- I was doing challenge videos for years, and then Steve dropped new Super Mario Bros. U coin and all of a sudden everyone called me a ripoff. For years, I was just known as, like, the budget Steve, you know? Now, I start doing these 3D world modding videos, ZX Many jumps in t 10 times better than me, now I'm the budget ZX Many, you can't win. Of course, that stuff doesn't really bother me that much, like, either, but it is just a little, little thing that's, like, a little bit infuriating, you know? So, in terms of uploads they will continue they'll probably be based on live streams at least for a little bit because it gives me company and i don't get lonely because when i'm lonely sometimes my it gives my brain a chance to go into bad bad zone i'll be doing the quag size showcase when two specific fluffy newers arrive i ordered five from the u.s pokemon center and sent them to my friend last year and they've only sent one back so far. There's another two on the way. So I'm gonna wait for those two to arrive and then whoever I've got by that point, whichever quags and whoops have arrived, we're doing, we're doing the head count on them. Yeah, thanks for being patient with me. This video will probably be deleted because it is, it has nothing of value. <laughs>